I would highly recommend go through the questions at least once. I trusted my coding skills very much that time and I was at my peak. I've been placed in Amagi Media Labs. Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas friends. I am Kabir Singh and I'm here again with a spectacular interview experience. So today I have somebody who has given us an article named Amagi Media Labs. Okay, so we're going to talk to Ajit today and we're going to understand how his interview experience was when he was sitting for the interview for Amagi, how many rounds were there, what all was asked in every round and what was the difficulty level as we discuss in every interview experience. So I hope you guys are ready to listen to all of that. And if you are, just hit the like button and just get ready to know everything about Amagi. So hi, Ajit, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Ajit, would you mind giving me, you know, a simple small introduction about yourself so that we get to know about you and then we can jump into our interview experience finally. Hi guys, I'm Ajit Soni. I've been placed in Amagi Media Labs. Mm -hmm. I've completed my bachelor's in technology from electrical and electronics engineering from NIT Trichy. Okay. I am from a small town in Chhattisgarh, which is like Korba. That's great. That's great. So NIT Trichy, that's a nice college out there, Ajit. So talking about our interview experience, would you like to tell me how many rounds were actually there when you sat for Amagi? For Amagi, there were total two interview rounds. Okay. So the first one was a little bit of from my core electronics. Some of the questions, apart from that, they were coding questions in the first round and as well as in the second round. Okay. So talking about the first round, you said there were questions of electronics and there were coding questions. So how many questions were there from electronics in total? Do you remember that? Like were they MCQs um, or were they something other than that? For the interview, they were not MCQs. Like they were the general objective questions that was uh -huh. asked by the interviewer. Okay. Um, and there were two coding questions in the okay. first round. Okay, two coding and, questions. Uh, in the second round, uh, there were around three coding questions. So how long did it go? Like the first round, how long was the first round? Both the rounds went around like two hours each for me. Okay. So yeah. basically these rounds, are they video call rounds or they are uh, on a portal where you have to solve questions? They were taken on Hire Pro, which okay. is kind of an online solution for the video call interview. Even uh -huh. It also provides a console for writing code as well as displaying the output. Okay. So when you say you had two rounds, the video call rounds, before that, was there mm -hmm. any selection screening round or something like that? Or directly you guys were invited for that? Before that, there was a selection round. It was also conducted in Hire Pro. Okay. And so there were coding questions and aptitude and a bit of computer science fundamentals as well. Works fine. So when I talk about the first screening round, the selection round, you said there were coding questions, there were aptitude questions, and there were fundamental computer science questions as well. So very basic or a very generic type of selection round out there. So what would you rate the difficulty level of the first very screening round, the selection round? How difficult was it? Was it easy, medium or hard? Screening round that the initial round, if we consider. So talking about aptitude, it was like easy. Mm -hmm. Talking about the computer science fundamentals, I would rate it towards between medium and hard. Okay. And talking about the coding questions, they were a bit around like easy to medium. Oh, okay. Not bad. Like that's luck out there because getting a good, uh, you know, score in the screening round is really important so that at least you can sit for the interviews because half of the people get out in the screening round itself. Hi there! Before we proceed further in the video, I would like to inform you that Coding Ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called CNSAT. If you participate in this test, you can avail up to 100% scholarship on any course at Coding Ninjas. It can be DSA, web development, product company interview preparation, and even data science and many more courses. So if you want to participate, click on the link in the description below or the pinned comment and participate now. Happy learning, guys. So moving forward, the first very round wherein you had electronic course questions. And other than that, you had two coding questions, which went on for two hours, which is a very long time. How much difficulty would you say for that round? The first round after the screening round, mm -hmm. I would rate the difficulty to be for the coding questions. If you say, then I would rate the difficulty to be medium to hard. Okay. And for the objective questions that was asked around my core and as well as some computer science fundamentals, I would rate them easy to medium. Okay. So I just have a very fun question to ask here. The questions yeah. which you sat for Amagi, have you ever solved those questions before? The coding questions in the second round? So there were two questions. One was lead code hard okay. and other one was medium. So you had solved both of them before itself or first time they cut a screen? Print? I hadn't solved them. Yeah. Okay. I saw that first. Time. Okay. I have another good question which is of the yeah. interview experience is that when you see a question which you're seeing for the first time 
ये क्वेश्चन आपने लाइक यू नेवर एवर अटेम्प्टेड बिफोर सो व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट कम्स इन योर माइंड यू नो व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट थॉट आई ट्रस्टेड माय कोडिंग स्किल्स वेरी मच दैट टाइम एंड आई वाज एट माय पीक प्रायर टू दैट इंटरव्यू आई हैड द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ लाइक 10 मोर इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस व्हिच आई फेल्ड सम एट द एचआर राउंड एंड सम एट लेट्स से इंटरव्यू बट आई क्रैकड द ऑनलाइन टेस्ट ऑफ अराउंड 10 interviews before that okay. so i was like little confident ki chalo like i can think about it because i have done a lot of coding beforehand at that time i was doing challenges so i was a bit confident so okay. let's proceed it even if i haven't seen them before okay that's great so moving on to the last okay. interview round can you tell us more about that it had some design questions low level design questions uh-huh. i wouldn't say exactly design but it required a lot of knowledge of oops okay as well as mathematics for okay. sure okay that's nice they were not straight forward lead code or any coding questions they mm-hmm. required a lot of mental thinking and little maths okay so moving mm-hmm. forward again what would be the difficulty of this this round the final round difficulty would be hard okay so i want to ask you one more question which a lot of people you know want to know is that whenever yeah. you get a coding question in an interview so there are two three ways to go forward either you read the story which is given I either you see the input context and the output context or you directly see the input and the output there are three ways right where you can Correct. see start with the question what would you prefer would you directly when you get a question would you directly like seeing ki ha bhai input kya le rahe hain and output kya le rahe hain what is the input being taken what is the output being taken or else you would like to go and see the input format and the output format of the code or else you want to read the problem first then go step by step what is your call while you are solving for i would highly recommend go through the questions at least once because okay. there are some corner cases which you can forget while writing the code since like you have seen just the input and output so there would be some corner cases which you right. can like not solve that correct way. okay yeah. so you would prefer reading the entire problem that's really nice and i yeah. really thank you for uh, giving us such a great interview experience and guys also ajit has written a very good article on this entire interview experience if you want to read it out i'll put the link in the description below you can read what questions were there you can solve them on code studio as well so thank you so much ajit for helping us out with such a great interview experience i hope to shoot another video with you pretty soon so thank you so much for coming up my pleasure thank you, thank you. Okay guys if you haven't liked the video till now hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more interview experiences like this thank you so much and happy coding hi there we hope you liked the video and had fun learning i would like to inform you that coding ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called cnsat if you participate in this test you can get up to 100% scholarship on any course at coding ninjas it can be dsa web development product companies interview preparation and even data science and many more courses so if you want to avail this opportunity click on the link in the description below or the pin comment and participate in the test now happy learning guys